Welcome to Young Camel Toes Travel Vlogs. Follow me as I travel the world, discovering unknown places and doing ridiculous things with my friends. Please like, subscribe, and hit that post notification button. I'm here at the site where the Dalai Lama came to meet Genghis Khan. Now back in 1111 BC, Genghis Khan came here to take over all of Cambodia. Luckily for the Cambodians, the Dalai Lama was here and he had a peace offering for Genghis Khan. Now Genghis Khan came through with his sword and his samurai and the Dalai Lama stood with about two monks in the pathway and he said, Your Highness Lord Genghis Khan, please don't take over these people. Instead of taking over the people, you can take over these coconuts. So the Dalai Lama proceeded to give Genghis Khan 55 coconuts as a peace offering. Genghis Khan ate the coconuts and then he got food poisoning and had to go to the hospital and then they sent him on a flight all the way back to Genghis Kangia and he was never seen again. You need a thousand bills just to buy a tea in Cambodia. The inflation is so high that you need to be richer than Kanye West, Donald Trump, and Elon Musk just to buy anything. I'm so rich. Money, 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 money. 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 Young moose knuckle, young camel toe. Young moose knuckle, young camel toe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Say what's up to my friend from Paris. We're in a tuk tuk. Just checking out the town, man. She speaks German, Spanish, English, and Cambodia, four languages. You know, nothing's better than a smack smack after a smack is smack, if you dig what I'm saying. This is some smacking food right down the street of wherever I was just now. Oh, the good old streets of Phnom Penh. Very narrow, no sidewalks, got cars parked everywhere. You definitely can't walk here, so I suggest you get you a motorbike. They cost me about $7 a day to smoothly cruise through the city. It was about 100 degrees right now, and boy, was it hot. That's like 40 degrees Celsius. I recommend coming here when it's raining season. Back in 1912, Harriet Tugman came to Cambodia to build the second Underground Railroad. The second Underground Railroad was used to transport rich black people through Southeast Asia. In 1912, there was a lot of black people who had a lot of money and they wanted to travel through Southeast Asia, but they didn't feel too safe. They didn't know if they were going to experience racism or whatnot. So Harriet Tugman came here and built the Underground Rail Railroad 2 right here. This is the street. Bah. Right behind me is the temple of Shiva. Now Shiva is the god of destruction. So he came down to Cambodia and said, I will destroy all of you unless you build the temple of Shiva. And the Cambodians was like, no problem Shiva. So they stopped eating their sugar cookies and chocolate chip brownies. And they came down here and built Shiva a temple. It only took them about two days. That's pretty fast. Back in 1782, electricity was founded right here in Cambodia by Thomas Edison the Cambodian. Now Thomas Edison, he was playing some PlayStation at the time, and he was like, man, I can make this PlayStation work five times better if I added in some electricity. So he went outside, he got some grass, he looked at the sky, and he did some push-ups. And after about doing 2,000 push-ups, a, a, a light bulb appeared on the top of his head and he looked up and he looked up at the light bulb and was like man I should make some light bulbs and then he made some light bulbs right here at the Thomas Edison Cambodian electricity factory all right so the Buddha reincarnated himself into an angel back in 1852 and he flew down here with his golden wings and he was eating some jelly beans right in front of this rabbit right here and Mary Magdalene and Mother Teresa were walking through talking about the last Uno card game that they were playing. Mary Magdalene was kind of mad that she got a draw for Mother Teresa, but they were kind of laughing about it. Now the Buddha came down with his angel wings eating jelly beans and he said, you two are going to be some of the greatest, most renowned, remembered people in history. And they said, thank you Buddha. Can I have some jelly beans? He gave him the jelly beans and he flapped off. Mahatma Gandhi came here in 1890 to meditate under this statue. 
And while meditating, he said, I would like world peace to come to everybody who's ever eaten chocolate and vanilla ice cream together. And in that moment, he meditated for over 40 days and 40 nights. And when he came out of his meditation, everybody was smiling and eating vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Queen Elizabeth came to the J.F. Kennedy Castle in Cambodia back in 1950. Now she never had any chocolate, and young Camel Toe III was the most chocolatey man in the universe. So she met with young Camel Toe III inside of this JF Kennedy castle, and they got down and they made some fresh brownies and some nice cookie dough. Back in 0 BC, Jesus Christ was born right under this golden tree in Cambodia. Now while Mary was giving birth to Jesus, Joseph was like, man God, I now got a kid, a wife, and I still ain't got no nookie cookie. And God said, let there be nookie cookie. And all of a sudden this girl named Cardi B appeared and she said, you would get this whap, whap, whap. And Joseph said, I love you back, back, back. After getting kicked out of the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve came to Cambodia to build the Garden of Eden 2. Now, unlike the Garden of Eden 1, they didn't put any apples because they didn't want the big guy in the sky to come down and say, how dare you eat those apples? You can't know this knowledge. So instead of putting apples, they put in light bulbs because they wanted to show the world that even though you get kicked out of one place, you could always bring light to the next. Back in 1911, Tupac came around here in Cambodia and he said, God, could you please bring me an ice cream? And God sent him some ice cream right in front of this building. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, I have a dream that one day black people will be in Cambodia and mess around with the Cambodians on iPhone 13. Well, Sir Dr. King, your dream has finally come true. Right behind me is the Michael Jackson Hotel. Now Michael Jackson came to Cambodia back in 1932 and he came right to the spot and he hit the he hit the moonwalk and he went, Woohoo! I'm gonna build a hotel right here. And just like that, with the click of his fingers, he sold his next album called I Just Took a Moonwalk in Cambodia, and he sold over five billion copies. And he took all the proceeds from them from the album sales and he built the Michael Jackson Moonwalk Hotel. In 1945, Elvis Presley, the god of rock music, came down here to visit his 10 baby mamas from Cambodia. Now his 10 baby mamas, they all had motorbikes, but they didn't have any gasoline. So Elvis Presley decided to put the first gas station ever in Cambodia right here in this parking lot. It's called Caltex. It now has over 20 pumps and they all keep the gas pumping. Oh my goodness, look at this amazing sweet and sour chicken. I'm gonna have a good time eating this. Hmm, it tastes kind of like some elephant toes. Or maybe rhinoceros belly. Kind of like some alien titties. Ah, uh, you know, it's a little, a little tangy for my taste. But, uh, you know, whatever, it's $2. All right, thanks for watching this vlog. Here goes me on a tuk-tuk riding through the streets. That's what the tuk-tuks look like, man. You got these on all the streets out here in Phnom Penh. Like and subscribe. Love y'all.